Hey guys, what's up? Halo here. Today I'll be doing a quick review on the DC Multiverse McFarlane Hutch Superman action figure. I've had some new stuff lying around for a while. I just haven't gotten a chance to review it. I really like the artwork here. Very, very nice. It's the same thing as the trading card, but it looks so sick. I might have to keep this box right here. But yeah, let's get on to the review. So here we have a quick little side-by-side -side comparison of the old Superman and the new Hush figure we got. I actually like the colors on the new one a lot better. Um, but this guy has a special place in most of our McFarlane collectors' uh, heart. But what this guy has that the original was missing was the S. A lot of people have been complaining about that S on the back. And we finally got it. Although it would have been nice to see that on this cape because I really like this cape on the original. That's just me. And this guy comes with the extra pair of hand, flight hands. Two fisted hands that's already on his arms and a flight stand. For those of you that complain about flying characters without flight stands, there you go. I don't own the original one, which I would love to, just for the Ivy Vines. Uh, I feel like that adds to the character a little bit. But yeah, let's do a little comparison with the last release we got on this body, which is from the Doomsday 2 pack, which people don't seem to like. Surprisingly, this guy has shade on his hair. And the new release is not. Let me show that off. See, this guy's got some shade on him. And the new release doesn't look. I like it when he adds shading to the hair, in my opinion. But it's exactly the same, minus the cape. This one's a little bit more torn up. Honestly, I would have preferred for his skin tone to be a lot more like the Devastator 2 pack. He's got a slight tan, and this guy looks like he's just got out the house in like 20 years but that's just my opinion let's see if I can get that on camera it's exactly the same just slightly painted differently on the boots no more battle damaged but a lot of people didn't like this guy because of the, the hands that it, the gripping hands he comes with he didn't come with no fisted hands and that's it oh and there's no S on the back as well here we got another quick comparison with the Nightfall Batman that just released as well. Like I said, I got a bunch of new stuff. Probably not going to review half of it because you've already seen a bunch of reviews. I really like this right here. Let's move the camera a little back. They're about the same height. I really like this body bulk for Superman. You know, the bulky type. Some people don't. They're already tired of it, but I'm happy to have this guy. Like I said, I really like the vibrant colors on this. And I already shut off the original, which is slightly darker. These colors are perfect for Superman, minus the skin tone. I wish that would be a little bit darker, but that's just me. And just for fun here, I got him next to that Batman and Spawn 2 pack action figure, which is very tall. I actually like this Batman a lot. Some people don't because of the face. I'm mad about it. But I do like the pointy ears and the cape and the colors on this guy. Very, very nice in my opinion. And you can see the size comparison right here. And just one more comparison, just for giggles and funs, here we got the Anti-Monitor, which I really love this figure a lot. I wish it would be a little bit taller, but the Anti-Monitor has the power to grow as big or small as he wants, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I might do a review on this guy soon, maybe, so stay on the lookout. And now we're just going to do a little quick look at the figure up close in detail. And now we're just going to get a quick look at the details on this figure real quick. So I showed off the S. Here's the back. Like I said, I really like the red on this guy and the blue. This is like a classic Superman in my opinion. Get a look at the head sculpt. It's got that tough ass chin. I'm not gonna go over the articulation because everybody has seen the articulation on this bulk. So there's nothing new that you should expect from it. I will, however, grab the Supergirl from the Unjustice line just for one more comparison. Pretty cool. Now we're, we're almost got a Superman family going on. I know we're going to get that Rebirth Supergirl soon, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, see, like I said, the colors on this new one pop off. You know, it looks like a classic Superman. So that's just me. Let me know how you feel about this guy. I would say pick them up if you get them. 
but the Devastator 2-pack is also very good. Alright, you guys have a good one.